Hello, I'm Nina, and I'm an engineering leader at ComEd. When you walk into a room and flip the switch on the wall, the lights come right on just as you would expect. But did you ever think how the electricity got to your house to give you the power for those lights and the many electrical appliances and products you use at your home from your gaming system to your refrigerator? To date, there are more than 3,000 electric distribution utilities all over America that produce and distribute electricity to homes, businesses, and other energy users. ComEd is proud to be one of those utilities. To get electricity to its users, there are more than 450,000 miles of high voltage electric transmission lines across the US and two and a half million miles of feeder lines. They take the electricity produced at power plants to transformers to step up the voltage in order to reduce energy loss while it travels along the grid to where it's going to be used. These transmission and distribution lines, whether they're located on poles above ground in some neighborhoods or buried underground in downtown Chicago, make up the most visible part of what is called the electric grid. The grid consists of the power plants that generate the electricity, the power lines that transmit electricity to your homes, capacitor banks to push the voltage along the way, the transformers to step down the voltage so it's safe for consumption, meters, your family, and other homes and businesses in your community which use electricity. The electric grid in the U.S. was once called the greatest engineering achievement of the 20th century by the National Academy of Engineering. However, with the way that we use electricity more and more each day, it takes a lot of work and continued innovation for utilities to make sure this grid, one that was originally constructed over 50 years ago, still works its magic for our daily needs today. Utilities and their partners are working to make the grid smarter with an innovation. One innovation worth mentioning is a smart meter. Smart meters are digital wireless electric meters. Smart meters show customers their energy use at any moment and help them look at their own energy trends and behaviors. Smart meters also help utilities communicate with customers about their energy consumption. At times when costs are high and people are using more power, smart meters enable the utility to help the customer power down and reduce their costs, and sometimes with incentives. Smart meters and smart grid systems help utilities know right away if there is a power disruption, even to ones addressed, so a homeowner often avoids having to call their utility to alert them of the outage. Another way communities are working towards modernizing the grid is by forming smaller sections of their own grid called a microgrid. Microgrid, the community has its own power generator or generators and all the wires, transformers, and even storage to store its access energy generated. Their electricity is transported a much shorter distance rather than relying on large distance power plants that serve many communities. In a microgrid, any power source can be used, but in Chicago, the Brunswick Community Microgrid is centered around power, solar powered energy and battery energy storage. Microgrids can be tied into the larger grid when they need to be, or act like their own island. Microgrids help provide reliable power and can often lower costs for customer while helping the local utility stay efficient. If you were to think of your block or neighborhood, how much you would design it to supply and possibly even store its own power? In the small but mighty activity, you're going to sketch your block or a few blocks and think about how you can incorporate renewable energy like wind, solar, or even biomass. Where would you place your energy storage bank? Would you redesign the wires in their neighborhood with your new generator? There's a lot to consider when designing a microgrid, but don't worry, these are just preliminary plans for the neighborhoods committee. Snap a picture of your microgrid map, submit it with your answers to the submission questions to stemneverstops.comed.com. Have fun.